Ready? Go. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear daddy. Happy birthday to Poor Redfish is all alone. He's feeling rather sad. <laughs> Until some happy friends appear and everyone is glad. Surprise! What did you make put on a fan? Woohoo! What did you make put on a fan? What do you think, Avery? The mom! Oh. Avery Green! <gasps> This is her new trick. She like sucks her tongue and her lip. I don't know. She likes making the noise. I don't know if she likes the noise or the sensation. But we're just having some morning cereal. Huh. It's quiet other than Avery's screeches that she does every now and again. <laughs> But both of the boys are in school. I actually have to leave soon to go get Porter. I swear these mornings go so fast. But I haven't got the camera out in a while, so I wanted to pull it out. We've been kind of busy, kind of not. Yesterday, we went um, with my mom and we went trick-or-treating. So, like, our little city has a downtown. And every year, this is the first year we went to it, they host, like, they call it a boo and brew all of the shops in this downtown put up little stands and they give kids candy and then they also like like market themselves by handing out business cards or they might try to sell like alcoholic drinks some people are giving out free like apple cider that was pretty good um and all the kids come and they dress up in their halloween costumes and they go trick-or-treating yeah, it's completely free, other than if you want to buy alcohol or drinks or food or anything like that. But other than that, it's completely free. So my mom and I went, Anthony was working, so he couldn't come. And we went right when the event started, and that was the smartest thing to do because it got packed about a half hour in. It was so busy. It was like a sea of people. It like quickly got packed fast. But the boys loved it. They got so much candy in their candy baskets. I think I took one short clip of us trick-or-treating there, so I'll input that here. Don't they just pass the... Uh, I also took a couple pictures of them. They had so much fun and it was beautiful weather. We are having like a, a heat wave, a warm wave go through right now. It's like mid 70s every day this week. It's been amazing. I wish the weather would just stay like this. But of course, Halloween's in four days, I think. And it's supposed to be like 50 and cold. So it's not lasting, but for now... We're taking advantage of it at, while we can. So we did that yesterday. I didn't really vlog other than that one clip because we were like so busy. I was doing some work. Um, so I was just busy yesterday. Today is another busy day. Um, we are actually going to head over after nap time is over, as soon as nap time is over, to Anthony's work. So if you didn't know, Anthony is an engineer. He used to work on cars. Now he's a package engineer. And his workplace is doing a trick-or-treat in their office, I guess. So they're inviting, like, all families that have kids to come and trick-or-treat. I guess, like, all the different groups are going to have trick-or-treat stations. Um, Anthony wasn't really sure about it. I guess this is kind of the first year they're doing it since COVID. So we've never been to this before. Um, and his office is kind of far away. But any excuse to have the kids wear their costumes, I'm going to do it. <laughs> because they're not cheap. And you only wear it for like a couple weeks. And then Halloween's over. And then, I mean, my kids will like use them to dress up every now and again. But you just don't get as much use out of it as you pay for it. 
So we're going to go and dress up and go trick or treat. I've not met like any of Anthony's coworkers and he's been at this place for two and a half years now. So I've never met his boss. I've never met his coworkers. Like I've heard their voices, but like with COVID, Anthony's work is like hybrid. So he only goes in twice a week. So he's just home a lot. So I'm finally going to meet, I think, a lot of them, which will be fun. He's excited for us all to come and trick or treat. So I'll try and vlog what I can, but it's going to be a little chaotic with three kids in a workplace. I'm wanting them to be on their best behavior and they're probably going to be crazy. Except for Avery. She'll be the angel. She's always the angel. Yeah. If you didn't know, we are going as, or what the kids are going as, Mario and Luigi and then Avery as Princess Peach. She's really enjoying her cereal. <laughs> I think I already said that in a previous vlog, but I just wanted to, if you didn't see that one, that's what they're going for is Halloween. They love their costumes. And after, as soon as that trick or treat is done, we have to race back home because Grayson has his final soccer practice of the season tonight. His final game is on Saturday. Porter's final game is on Saturday as well. So how it is here, at least for soccer, is you sign up for two seasons, fall and spring. So it's like eight weeks in the fall and then you take a break through the winter and then it picks up again. You do eight weeks in the spring. So this is the end of the fall session um, and then we'll take a break. So we're going to go to Grayson's last soccer practice. Today's like a high of 75. So it's going to be like beautiful, which is awesome because last week it was pouring yes. rain when we had soccer practice. Not fun, but it'll be much better this time. So one last soccer practice and then one last game for the boys and then we'll be done with soccer. And then this weekend we are carving pumpkins. So I definitely will make a vlog about that. The boys are so excited to carve. Avery's getting grumpy. I'm gonna have to cut this short. Okay, she got her leg stuck. I'm gonna have to go, but I will just bring out the camera here and there. Um, as we go trick or treating and maybe some soccer practice. So, um, I'll see you guys later. Hey guys, so I am just sitting here editing this video and I realized that I didn't really uh, give commentary on a lot of the videos that I took. So the last clip I have is me saying that we were gonna go trick or treating at Anthony's work. We did go there. I have some pictures that I can insert here while I'm talking. I didn't end up taking any videos. It was chaos. Um, there were a lot of people there. I just didn't want to stick my camera. I was meeting all these people for the first time. It just didn't work out. But the boys loved it. They had an awesome time. They got so much candy. People were giving us like handfuls of candy. They thought our um, little family costume of Mario and Luigi and Princess Peach was super cute. They loved it. The kids even like won some award of like best family costume or best kids costume at Anthony's work. Super cute. Anyway, so we did that. We actually ended up staying there way longer than we thought we would. And Grayson actually missed his last soccer practice. So that was kind of unfortunate, but it wasn't a big deal. Then the next clip I have is the boys' last soccer games. So I can include those here. We are done for the fall season now. Porter had a great last practice. He did really good and a lot of people showed up for that last practice, which was refreshing because the whole season has been like very spotty in terms of his teammates showing up. So it's nice that almost everybody came to the last practice. 
Um, and they, like, encourage kids to, like, dress up in Halloween costumes, but my kids didn't want to do it. Then we went to Grayson's game. He had a really good last game. Not so much Grayson. He kind of did the same he always did. He was kind of, like, in the back. He did try here and there to get the ball, but didn't score any goals. But the team that they versed was not as good as Grayson's team, and so I think it ended up being, like, Grayson's team scored, like, seven or eight goals, and the other team scored... I think these maybe scored one goal. So it was very one-sided. But it was refreshing because the p past couple weeks leading up to that, we had been getting blown out at every game and not hardly scoring at all. So it was a refreshing game to actually like win one. Not that they really keep score at this age, but the parents do. So we did that. And then nothing really happened the rest of that day. Then the next day we went to my parents new house that they're renovating but haven't started a renovation on it yet and we did pumpkin carving we did this like the weekend before halloween so it was like two days before halloween but we got it in so all is well um we carved a pumpkin and put avery in it And she loved it. As soon as we put it in, it's like she automatically knew what to do. She started like gnawing on the pumpkin. It probably felt really good on her gums because she's teething. And so she was going to town on the pumpkin. It was hilarious. And then the boys and Anthony um, carved pumpkins. Each boy had their own pumpkin. And Anthony was amazing and sat and was patient and had the boys like draw designs on their pumpkin. And then he went ahead and carved them for them. So that was really nice of him to do that. And we got to see um, some of my siblings came. My sister brought her new baby and we got to see two of my brothers. So it was a really fun event. Um, it was nice to do it at my parents' house because we kind of made a mess, but they don't really care because they're going to renovate their house. So it can be a mess if they need it to be. Usually we try to pumpkin carve outside, but that day it was cold and rainy. So just didn't work out. But it was good. We had a backup plan for inside. And that was kind of it. So it was just like a busy um, fall weekend of um, a busy last couple of days of October with a lot of different trick-or-treating events. But I just wanted to get on here and narrate the end of that vlog because it kind of didn't make sense without me explaining it to you. But um, the next vlog will be Halloween. So stay tuned for that. It was a crazy busy day. Um, and then of course we went trick-or-treating and the kids loved it. So stay tuned for that video that will be coming out next. But thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye. See you again next time.